Welcome back to the Gridiron Expert. We're continuing our ACC football predictions today, and today's team has 14 returning starters from their most successful season since 2011, including a win over a ranked Temple team in the bowl game. They are the Wake Forest Demon Deacons. Wake Forest, when I was doing my predictions, was one of those teams when I finished, I looked at it, and I was like, what have I done, you know? But, you know, when I really studied Wake Forest this season, they have nine returning stars on offense, which makes me feel really good. I love a team that has a good offense. They only have five returning stars on defense. They have a very tough schedule this season, probably top 25 of the toughest schedules in the nation. Um, they're one of those teams that I think can go either way. They have the potential to get to a bowl game, but it wouldn't be a shock if they didn't get to a bowl game. So we're just going to kind of play it by ear and see. Open it up the season against Presbyterian. That's an easy win, right? That's going to give them a chance to see what they're made out of. I don't like that they don't have a returning quarterback. They had Their quarterback was on the roster last season, but he was not their starter. He had very limited amount of playing time. Uh, he was like their third string or second string. So uh, it's a new quarterback, but he's not very experienced. So that does concern me about their nine returning starters on offense. Um, but, you know, this the last season, like I said, was their most successful. They went 7-6. Um, and That's way better than their years before when they were going 4-8, and 3-9, and nine, those types of seasons. Then they go to Boston College, an uh, early ACC conference game. On the road, though, don't like that at all. I like that Boston College has an uh, equal amount of starters, 8 on offense, 7 on defense, so they're pretty balanced. Wake Forest is not, um, and that's a tough place to play on the road. I'm just going to give them a loss there. And then Utah State at home, that's another not easy game but it will give them a chance to kind of work out some uh, some issues, and I think they will get the win over Utah State right there. So, 2-1 uh, going into the towards the end of September. So, you know, and I'll tell you as we go out through the schedule kind of what I was thinking when I picked these games. Going to Appalachian State on the 23rd, I'm giving them a loss here. I'm predicting a loss for Wake Forest at Appalachian State. I know it's a Sun Belt team versus an ACC team, but Appalachian State, we all know, it's probably the best team in the Sun Belt. We saw what they did to Tennessee last year. Uh, almost beat them at Neyland. So they're not any pushover team. I know that they got killed against Miami when they came to visit last season. But keep in mind, Wake Forest is not Miami. Um, I feel like Appalachian State, led by Taylor Lamb, their quarterback, He's I think he's a great quarterback, dual threat. This is going to be kind of a trap game for Wake Forest. I would not be shocked if Wake Forest won this game. This is one of those toss-up games. Right now, I'm giving them the loss. But... I'm not going to be shocked if they were to win this game. You know, they had the potential to win this. So they could potentially be three and one, but right now I'm going to give them the loss and keep them at two and two. And then back to back weeks, oh, that's brutal. Back to back weeks, they get the top two teams in the division Florida State and Clemson. One's at home, one's on the road. But Wake Forest just doesn't have the talent, I don't think, to compete with these guys, um, even though they have the nine returning stars in offense. Uh, so both losses there to the top two teams in the division. They definitely won't be Clemson on the road. Florida State at home could give them a challenge for about a half or so. And then after that, I think they're done. And then really this last stretch of the season, these last six games are really tough. Three on the road, three at home. At Georgia Tech, they're a team that returned 16 starters. I don't think they're going to be like they were a couple years ago when they made the Orange Bowl. Uh, but I do think they will be okay. They're still going to make another bowl game, probably looking about an eight-win season. Uh, and I think they will lose to Georgia Tech on the road. If that game had been at home, I may have given it to Wake Forest, but it's on the road. I don't like that. Then Louisville, uh, I think this was the game last season when they went to Louisville where they had that scandal, you know, with finding out each other's playbooks, and I think that was Louisville that did that. So Wake Forest probably has some bad blow with Louisville right now. I like that it's at home. I think they'll give them a little bit of a challenge. Um, Lamar Jackson, if he's a little rusty towards the end of the season like he was last year, uh, maybe Wake Forest could pull off the upset. Not calling for it now. Another loss for Wake Forest there. And then at Notre Dame, at Syracuse, as I've said before, Syracuse, they scare me, uh, especially playing them on the road. Uh, no pushover game there. We know Syracuse has a really good offense, uh, and they return a lot of starters as well. And I'm going to give Wake Forest a loss there. And then at Notre Dame um, the week before, uh, South Bend is a horrible place to play, the tough place to play. Wake Forest will not be able to go in there. Last season, teams were able to go into Notre Dame that shouldn't have won there. Um, that will not be the case this season. Notre Dame will get the win uh, since they are a much improved team. Another loss for Wake Forest there. And then NC State and Duke to close out the year. Uh, I'm really high on NC State this season. I think in the end they're going to be a better team on the road. I, I know Wake Forest has them at home. Uh, by this point, they're out of uh, bowl contention. There's no way, even if they won back-to-back -back games here, they can make it to a bowl. 
Uh, they're really just playing for pride at this point. And I think North Carolina State will go on the road and upset, or will beat Wake Forest, not really an upset. And then Duke, just like the Appalachian State game, this is one of those games that was kind of up in the air with because Duke was struggling last year. They don't have any returning starters either. Um, but, you know, when I, was, when I was predicting these games, I was looking at who will have more to play for. And at, at this point late in the season, I think Duke will have more to play for because I think they will be in a better position to make a bowl than Wake Forest will be. And I'm going to be giving Duke the win here and a loss for Wake Forest. So before anybody lashes out in the comments and flips out that Wake Forest is going 2-10, and 10, Keep in mind, I think they have the potential maybe to get to 4-8. and eight. But if you look at the schedule, I don't see them going to a bowl game. I'm not saying it can't happen. I'm not saying it can't happen. They could easily make it to a bowl game. But I'm calling for anywhere between 2-10 and 10 to 4-8. and eight. Right now, though, in these predictions, I'm saying 2-10 and 10 for now. That would be their worst season in a long time. But really, the only possible wins I could see them getting are that Appalachian State game, maybe the Duke game. I don't see them beating Florida State Clemson. Do not see them beating any of these guys on the road. So that leaves, what, Louisville and NC State at home? They're not going to win both of those to get to a bowl game. I don't think they're going to win any of those personally. Both of those teams are going to be very good and dangerous on offense. So anywhere between 2-10 and 10 to 4-8 and eight for Wake Forest. Right now, I'm keeping them at 2-10. and 10. Potentially uh, could get the win over Appalachian and Duke. Could happen. I'm not calling for it right now. We'll just have to wait and see. Sorry, Wake Forest fans. I know it's probably hard to hear, uh, considering how well y'all did last year, uh, going 7-6 and six and winning that bowl game over Temple. Uh, it's just, you have the talents there. The schedule's tough, and that and that really sucks for teams uh, that do have a lot of talent. And when they draw a tough schedule like this, I, it's very frustrating. So Wake Forest will have to go on the road and pull off a few upsets or even beat a few teams at home and upset them, such as Louisville and NC State, to have a chance at a bowl game. But I'm just not calling for one right now. So please leave likes, comments, and subscribe. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. We're about to finish up the ACC Atlantic Division, uh, and then we'll move on to the second half of the ACC before we move on to our next Power 5 conference. So we uh, keep giving us feedback, keep subscribing. We love that, and uh, we'll see you next time on the Gridiron Expert.